everyone and welcome back to another world building video for the player's guide to Ravion. In this video we're going to talk a little bit more about the Serac wastes and we're going to look at some of the different regions within. Uh, the first one that we'll start with is kind of the uh, the historical trend of how they actually expanded. We're going to start with the Dune Valley Breach. The Dune Valley Breach is a portion of the Sarak Waste that houses the capital city of Shadeside. The region is bordered by a large mountain range, rich with mineral deposits, particularly salt. The erosion of these mountains in such a concentrated area has created sand dunes rich with salt content. Now, the Dune Valley Breach is nicknamed the Salt Dunes. It's a region of the Sarak Waste, rich in few things save for salt that permeates the very landscape itself. Little grows here with the exception of the coast as salt enters the ocean. The saline-rich environment is diluted by the ocean water, making resilient life possible. There is still relative dead zone outside of uh, kind of the edge of this area, like right off the shore as the salt from the uh, you know, actual terrain mingles with the water and dissolves. Uh, it is too salty for most things to live there, for sea life, but there are some of the more resilient species that do call it home. And so this has led to the majority of the people that live along the coastline in the region to go further out to do a lot more deeper sea fishing and actually benefit from anything that might happen actually be uh, available. This this means that they tend to lean in more to kind of crab pots and other bottom dwelling uh, kind of fish or water uh, species that might be present, uh, kind of putting traps out and then recovering them and kept taking the catch and everything like that. Uh, at the same time, there are still fish that live along the edge of the coast, albeit they're very hardy, and when they are captured, they are very salty, which means that they are treated very carefully uh, to be prepared to be, you know, not too dangerous for consumption. Uh, the majority of the capital city of Shadeside that does exist within this region benefits from a massive line of kind of merchant caravan trails that allows them to get the majority of their resources as an import. So fruits, vegetables, uh, a hefty and healthy thriving port system that allows them to get the resources that they need without suffering from any sort of ill, Ill uh, fate, so to speak, because of their various landscape and territory. Over time, this landscape has just become more and more salty. And as people suppose that as the mountains are eroding over time, uh, more and more of these deposits are coming into play. And more and more of these deposits are posing a challenge for the very lifestyle of the area. In the past, there has been only one clan that established itself in the Dune Valley Breach, and this was the Salt Dunes clan, the Mahmoud family. Though a challenging landscape to settle, the Mahmoud family benefited from the trade potential of their most prominent natural resource, salt. By trading concentrated salt with other populations around them, the Mahmoud family began to expand their influence into oceanic powers, which allowed them to become a fishing clan for the majority of the resources, leading to the Mahmoud family becoming adept merchants and fishermen all in one. So they have a very robust trading plan. Like, they have a pretty hefty fleet, uh, as well as personal watercraft that are available for fishing and enriching the economy that way but they have a very clear clan owned almost an armada but it's a, a fleet of fi uh, trading vessels these merchant vessels have made it possible for them to in refining the salt that's in their very landscape uh, trade it as a very valuable natural resource that can be worth quite a bit uh, they basically struck oil and have been refining it and they can afford to limit the amount that's being produced and keep the price high enough that they're taken care of. And so that means that until they ended up joining the Serac Wastes and becoming the Serac Wastes, for the most part, the uh, 
salt uh, the salt dunes clan the Mahmoud family was able to enrich themselves relatively early on and become a very powerful clan in in their own right working very very closely for trade for the other resources that they needed that's it for the dune valley breach next video we'll look at the silt slurries but thank you all for watching and be good to one another bye